All right, welcome to another episode of the Why Not Podcast. And today we have a special, special guest to start off the show. Uh, one of my longtime friends, I call her family, who is now stepping into stepping into her purpose in life, <laughs> business-wise at least. And she is today's official sponsor. So we have Miss Crystal Rice, the owner and operator of Studio 127. How are you today, ma'am? I am doing well. Great, great. So Studio 127, I say this with love. Even if I haven't known and love you for 20 some odd years, two decades, this has been our friendship, by the way, we would still use this venue for the events that we had. You know, my wife and I loved it. And if anyone is friends with me on Facebook, they saw the pictures from this venue of Noah's second birthday party. Uh, but it's a multi-purpose room, though. You guys do more than just birthday parties, right? Yes, this room can be used for several things, such as baby showers, bridal showers, kids' birthday parties, graduation parties. We also are equipped with a projector, so you can hold a business meeting or a luncheon here. So it's able to be transformed to several different things to fit your needs. Awesome, awesome. Now, the great thing about this, though, is I know a little bit of the inside story on how you got started, because you began as a wonderful photographer. Is that correct? Yes, photography is my passion and my dream. And after a tragic loss of my husband, I decided to step out on faith and pursue my passion and open up a studio, but I made it large enough where I could also rent it out for special events. So theoretically, someone could come here to get their senior pictures, their engagement photos you do, uh, we've actually done our family photos once again. Check us out online. We look kind of fly, if I say so myself. Anything that, that anyone would want photography-wise, you can do. Is that including with weddings, just out of curiosity? Yes. Yeah. So I do on-location um, photos at weddings or outdoor family photos, if you like. Or if you want to stay in the studio for newborn pictures, we can do in-studio photos as well. That's right. Because we actually did ours outside and... You also came to our home. Yes, Who does that anymore? Who does that anymore? That's incredible. All right, so uh, let's start with if someone is interested, uh, what's the best way to contact you? And you can tell the details. There are several ways to contact. We have a website that you can reach out on, studio127photos.com. That is photos with an S. You also can reach us by email at studio127photos at gmail.com or phone at 502-434-7440. Awesome. All right. Uh, and as uh, and you have a Facebook page. Yes, we have a Facebook page. So please like us at Studio 127 Photos and Events and keep up with all the latest promotions and giveaways. All right. And checking the numbers, family, we have a large, uh, a large number of listeners that are outside of this area. So even if you're not in the Louisville area, a uh, different country, whoever, check out the website, give it a like, share. You never know who can see it. Uh, Crystal, as always, I, I tell you, I'm proud of you. You keep it up. And uh, that's it. All right. So you want to you wanna start, the, start the episode? All you got to do, do is look in the mic and say, here we go. You got to say family, though. Here we go, family. All right. Here we go, family. Trouble gears, time to build. This is how I feel. The time is now. What 
patience and waiting for me. Pass your balance, know your purpose. Why are you living? Why are you living? I don't do this for the fame. This the super pain. And if you on the same level, all together same. Still burning. Hey. Shout out to the homie Smooth Lyric. <laughs> Bringing us in for another episode of the Why Not Podcast. Family, what is up? We got another good episode. And this week, uh, as you just heard, we are sponsored by Studio 127. So please check them out. Uh, if you tell them you came from us, there is a discount. You're welcome. I do it for the streets. It's what I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this week... Uh, well, first off, before we talk about this week, last episode, I want to give another thank you to John and Michelle. They did a great job. Uh, you can visit uh, Michelle at themichellerandolph.com and, and follow her journey as she's going through. And, uh, man, a lot of listeners. Y'all are listening. Thanks. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know what to say, but thanks. Keep doing it. Um, so, so this week here in Louisville, we had a holiday that you may not have been aware of, right? Because predominantly our show is, listen, there's a lot of people of color that listen to this. Like, I, I, I didn't mean for y'all to find it, but there you go, right? Negroes. <laughs> if you will. And, uh, Blacker people. And, and here in Louisville, Kentucky, um, our experience with the Derby, the Kentucky Derby, may be a little different than what you've seen on TV. Oh, it's a right? lot different. Yeah, right? It so like so you, you've seen all the different, uh, all the different versions of what they think the derby is and this week we're going to tell you the real deal that's that's really my my main focus so i brought in two vets two two people two vets y'all have earned Mm. the title of vet two people that are not new to the microphone uh that that i am proud to say are uh, oh (laughs) you already know who that is if you heard the thought pop uh two two people that are that are really in their own lane doing great on their respective shows we'll start to my right uh she is Really, there's no argument. The better half of the Potluck Podcast. Ah. Uh, she she is the reason behind that show. The the humor, really <laughs> the heart and soul. He's gonna kick me down steps. <laughs> it's going to be. A He's gonna shake situation. me when I go back into the He's studio. Going to shake we her. we are proud to welcome to the Why Not Family the homie Bretagus. What's going Bretagious. on? Yeah. What's up? What's up? Chill it, chill. How you feeling? I'm good. It feels right. so good out here. Yeah, Beautiful, yeah. Awesome. I mean, like. Well, yeah, we're gonna talk about where we are. Yeah. It's like spring. It's is it still spring? It is spring. Springish, you know. Spring. I'm not I'm used like to know Kentucky. Don't really get spring. We, we go cold, hot. That's it. As right. the grannies would call it. I just <laughs> messed up already. <laughs> pneumonia. I'm, 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 I'm it. Pneumonia. I'm messed up already. Uh, <laughs> look, we, if, Ooh, if, if we want to stop reminder. right there, uh, we got we got the second guest, uh, the homie. This is actually her second appearance on the Wine Out Podcast. She was here with Three Two One Podcast. And today we are highlighting her show, which I make no apologies about. Called about last week. I'm like, what's going on? What are you doing? He did. Step it up here. He did. The homie. He did. Uh, the red-headed branch sheet. Red. Up, Thug Jelena. Joe hey. Lee. What's going on with you? What up? What up? What up? Chilling. Chilling. Chilling, man. So here we are today. Uh, pretty beautiful day for Louisville, especially. Blue skies. A yeah, um, right? couple clouds. I see. <laughs> we I was going to say, yeah, but I'll say that. So I know. So uh-uh. we, we wanted. It's windy. Uh, we, Wind gusting <laughs> in from the northwest, I believe. That's it. That's and, it. Um, you know, no, no rain. It feels good. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Hey. So we wanted to try something with a little ambient noise, something yeah, a little the, the different. Streets, so the we are at the Heine Brothers uh, Coffee Store. What is this on Barchtown? And what is that street right there? Uh, Bishop. No, Gardner. Bishop. Gardner. Okay. So Gardner. Bishop is over there. Right. Okay. It's so all right. It's anybody, they, they all anybody that's uh-huh. familiar with Louisville's right off of Watterson. It's a good place to go. Right Support local. There's a tar. Yeah, or something. Man. You hear yeah. the tar in the right, back? Right. Right. So, yo, have you seen what tuition is? Is some of them no. Yo. Like and it's only right there. Like, yeah. like that's it. I'm yeah, paying all this busted. money for this little corner. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> like no, <laughs> it's a little bit of corner. <laughs> but they got a bakery, so yeah. It's they all got right. barely. <laughs> <laughs> it be like running out of donuts to like noon. Like, like bro, girl, what? Who comes in? This I'm early sorry, in the we morning. have no more donuts. But you're a bakery. <laughs> I just got a Krispy Kreme. Like, this up? is ridiculous. Like, Krispy Kreme is like right behind us also. So yeah, like, oh, no. and yeah. they're not running out of donuts anytime soon. So shout out to the homie who just had uh broken me pot tracy 
Tracy from another round. Her uh, her grandma used to work at that Krispy Kreme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's what's up, man. So and they work at this bakery. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think you I'm graduate with a culinary degree <laughs> and go work out <laughs> Old Charlie's bread. Sheeved. I'm gonna say some sheeved. Yeah. That would be yeah. the alternate word for today's <laughs> episode. Sheeved. 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 <laughs> Sound like that. Very good. So so um. Today, first off, thank y'all for coming. You know, I appreciate you doing it, uh, bringing a touch of class to the podcast. You're pretty funny, though, because he hit me and was like, do you know Brittany? And I'm like, Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, yeah. (laughs) Yes, I I know Brittany. If you haven't caught on, family, by listening to the show, (laughs) I'm not the coolest guy in these Louisville streets. So I don't know. I don't really know the connections from everybody. And out out of courtesy, like when I have two guests. Usually I ask somebody like, "Hey, who you want on with you?" But but sometimes I just think y'all would be good together. So I'm like, "Let's do I've been this." On Brit since but, like church though. I'm not gonna say but, what but, church, but church. <laughs> All right, okay. okay. You know, church. I get in trouble that. with the churches. Right, church. <laughs> I don't even say church names at just, this point. No, just say church. It's a blanketed right. statement. You don't know where I'm going to be at. Fair enough. Church. Fair enough. But I was just like, I asked both of <laughs> you separately. I'm like, hey, want to have red on? Want to have Brit on? Is that cool? And both of y'all just basically cussed me out. Like, nice. yeah, she's cool. This and that. Right. I know. Yeah. I'm like, all right, well, that'll, that'll be good. That'll be good. That's a good sign. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, Are I, you sure? I just feel like if I we friends on some, Facebook. I should have wrote something dumb back. Like, yeah. I don't know everybody. <laughs> Like if we friends on yeah. Facebook, if it's a female, yeah. and I'm friends with her on we're Facebook, pretty much cool. we cool. And we okay. are. Yeah. She's in my regular Facebook rotation. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Like, yeah, nice. yeah. So we yeah, probably should have paid more attention to the pay, the Facebook stuff. Yeah, because yeah. we definitely be on each other's stuff. Yeah. All in each you other. stupid. Yeah. And sometimes Stop if it. I can't post it, I send it to her. And be like, <laughs> she showed like she hit me random and was like, all the other ones. What dudes look like when? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. She was like, "Well, you." I was like, "I ain't got no shame." Post. <laughs> Mama was, knows me. Daddy, so daddy gonna dead. learn me, so it don't even matter. I was you know right? and I shared it to Facebook learned. too. Like, I'm I was about like, to dial up and think that. Listen, listen that you. post will not he be. Does he look like he smell like not be. Be. <laughs> <laughs> he probably smell like fried chicken. Check, and green. Hopefully, y'all know him on Facebook, so you can check out the post. So, mm. so, um, so yeah, that's good. But I, I did want to take a second to to talk about the shows, and, and, and I want to start with uh, with Podluck. Potluck. The Potluck Podcast. The Potluck Podcast is doing some strong things in these podcasts. Streets, I don't right? know how, because we're not talking about nothing. I see, I disagree, though. Like, like. Y'all make so, some noise, though. So, so, LJ. Little LJ. Little LJ I, hear was, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. That was a good catch. That was a good catch. I'm home. Y'all are y'all classy. Can't so, with my thumb. I'm going to sit down. So, LJ, I remember wanting to start the show. And he was thinking about it, and you were, you were the first and only option he had for Last. No. Uh, for girls, maybe. No. I wasn't his first option. Marcus Cox was his first first option. No. Mm. Well, it, it's, it, I can only go by what okay, he said to okay, me. Okay. So I don't know. Well, now we know. I still feel tender. Yeah. Now, <laughs> it, he was like, <laughs> nah, cause I don't. I, mean, I guess I picked And I told Cox, too, this could have been you. <laughs> but you was playing. could have been yours. But you was playing. playing. <laughs> See what that happens. Dope, yeah. mm. <laughs> so so when, when he told me about the concept, I didn't know what the actual show was going to be, but I, I knew I, I got a snapshot of LJ letting loose a little bit. I'm like, yeah, it's probably gonna be good. Then I heard the show. Y'all are funny. Y'all y'all <laughs> are just funny, man. Like Potluck Podcast, for anyone who hasn't heard it, I'm gonna give you my take, you give me yours, tell me if it's accurate. It is it is a funny take of not only Louisville culture and and events and experiences, but also just random pop culture slash uh, y'all, y'all went to the relationship stuff, or like, <laughs> the relationships that bugged you on social media, all these things y'all cover, but you're going for the funny. So, I mean, how, how would you describe the show? <sighs> well, first of all, I didn't know that I was going to have a show. I thought that I was going to be a guest mm. on another show that he had. He had a sports show with another friend of ours. Right. And so when he, because LJ is a little bit, slow and so he doesn't <laughs> explain things well especially right. via text message so you want to do an he, impression te- of he was what like it hey like? do you want to do a show with us and he said us and i was like yeah he was like yeah we'll just do funny stuff just like regular stuff like, and i was just show? like Good okay sell, Good and i was like well y'all need it because it's boring <laughs> and he was like 
Okay, I need whatever. a pick me up because I'm snoring. Yeah, he was like, okay, whatever. I hit you up later with the details. Right. Then texts me talking about you're gonna need a mic and sends me a picture of a mic and I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna need a oh, what? so this is like my own show. Like, uh, in, like in oh, of. okay. And I was like, yeah. and then I'm gonna need a mic. What? And so, like I've explained several times on our show. Uh. LJ is the king of the potluck. Oh yeah, explain the like, name. So explain the anytime name of the show. you come to LJ's house for a <laughs> gathering, he's like, "What you gonna bring?" Like, "But you invited me over, so I gotta bring something." You should have something. Already. So he's like, "You gonna bring, you know, like you can bring some soda, you can bring whatever." So right. he stays potlucking. So we've always <laughs> been like, "LJ's having something potluck, it's of course, potluck. just bring something." He didn't and even tell you ahead of time, like, this is a pilot. When he it's sent just, me, yeah, he he's nice talking about you're going to need this, this, and this. And I sent it to my other friend. Yeah, His name's yeah, Kev. Yeah. And I'm like, is this nigga trying to potluck a podcast? <laughs> I said, how do you potluck? Oh, uh, like a bring radio show. Bring your everything, like bring a, your laptop, like, bring your and microphone. And so he was like, that would be a good name for it. Call it the potluck. And so I twisted it. And I'm like, why don't we name the show the potluck? We talk about all things. Right, you would bring right. everything to but the it's really table. A dig on you. But it was really a dig on LJ. I so, love that the fact that yes. LJ had no idea. He had was, no idea it was until not I explained ready. it like three episodes in. Wow. And he it had to like, he kept hitting the button like really nigga. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, yeah. 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 Really. Facts. You. And then now he's got this lovely fiance. Yeah. She's yeah. like, we can't potluck things. <laughs> Please. She's gonna change this. The whole makeup of she really doesn't call LJ, but <laughs> she's like, we can't do that. We, we're, that's not it. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna cook everything. And then people and will just come invite over. People over and tell right. them they want to bring their own drink. Because that's of normal. Because that's the way that that's people that's do usually how. Like if I invite you to my house, I don't. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right, yeah, that came right. and so. The first couple of shows, we didn't really have a concept, and mm. then eventually we kind of got a format going. Right. Um, because I'm a I'm a a jerk. So I like, you know, I, I, I'll be honest, I had never really listened to podcasts before. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, before hit 35th of Kentucky is the first podcast I ever listened to. Right. And I was like, this is boring as hell. Yeah. I don't it's know. Like talk radio. And then someone <laughs> sent me um, the read. Ah, yeah. Shout out to the read. And I was like, oh my God, yeah. what have I been missing? Mm-hmm. And then I found it just started uh, as some a nerd open. black nerd podcast. Oh, and then I found for colored nerds. Yeah, yeah, for colored nerds. Yeah. I love Brittany. Oh, she, and Brittany's I love best. that she's so smart and she cusses like that. Let me like, tell you, girl. Let me tell you, give, give, it, give a split second to shout her out. Brittany, um, where we, we have mutual friends, right? So she is, she's a big deal in these podcast streets because she does what we essentially do, but she started a couple years earlier. Now she does it for a living. She got hired at uh, Gimlet. (laughs) Right, right. She got hired at Gimlet in New York City. And her job is literally to come in every day, work on a podcast, and promote it. Like, that's 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 the dream. That's the dream, man. She she and Eric from uh, For Colored Nerds, their new show is going to be The Nod. And that's coming out on... um, Gimlet in this summer, so check them out. Like I, I like I love that show. So mm-hmm. I just started listening to, I just started listening <laughs> to a whole lot of podcasts, and I go, LJ, hey, uh, we need like a format or something. I'm yeah. seeing that other right. people have, have formats, format. right. so you know, great artists still. Uh, so I stole that <laughs> from every, give me stole that. this from there, stole this from there, right, right. and then we came up with our own little vibe, and we we rock it out. And so one thing that I am leaning towards this year. Is to be more political. I know that sounds crazy. And so a lot of times, you know, I'm not as smart. Like, people literally tag us. Like, it's gotten to the point where people tag us and stuff and send us a story and say, hey, look at this. And then I look at the story and I try to find a funny way to say, hey, you know, you know, me talking about Barbara Shanklin was (laughs) crazy because (laughs) I was just being a jerk. And I'm like, Barb, like, what are you doing in Newburgh? Newburgh And then what happened was when it came to vote, (laughs) and although she (laughs) won again, she knew she was going to win. Of course. But talk about what happened. She had goons and stuff. On the day that, you know, voting day, People were voting for me yeah. and taking the picture and sending it to me. <laughs> like, like no, multiple don't, people. Don't so after about 10 people, I'm so like, stop. wait a minute, y'all. Yo, yo, now, I don't, don't mess around. I mess around and win. Because <laughs> I'm going to step up. <laughs> stuff going to change around here. And it's going to be a, a whole nother thing. And so then people going to put me in Newburgh. And I mean, it's no shade to Newburgh. <laughs> right, but right. I'm like full-blown. No, I'm full-blooded West right. Indian. Right. Right. We married into Newburgh. So we can't do it. You know, we can't. You can't leave West End like that. I'm straight 41st and Broadway. There you go. But yeah, so like things like that happen. So I want to pay attention to what's going on politically, mm-hmm. and um, 
bring the humor, but also bring the uh, knowledge. Be like, yeah. be aware. Yeah. Like, know what's going on. And Eldridge got all these smart ass friends, and I don't. They all mm. went to Central. I don't know how. Ah, how that happened. The Central. Um, but shade. all of LJ's Shout very genius, yeah. Cassia, yeah. and all of them. They're so smart, and yeah. even Lish yeah. from Unscripted. Yeah. You know, she went to Seneca. Who? who but goes she went to Seneca. Seneca yeah, uh, she went to Seneca. I, don't, I know. Like, is Jasmine's three people. got racist a little bit? Or something? <laughs> I don't know, but. What up, Lish? That's good. What up? <laughs> That's us. But all of these smart people LJ has, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. they give me all these stories. I try to make them funny. Mm. And that's that. Yeah. That's it. I can't believe over. people. I, I sold some girls some tickets to the uh, Joe Griff's party. Off the street. And when I. Dialogue. Yeah. And I. No. I, no, I sold her some tickets. Uh-huh. And of a friend of a friend yeah. and she walked up to the door she said oh, you're the girl from the potluck and I was like this is weird <laughs> that is a very weird <laughs> too famous yeah. well that, so, so weird. Let's and let's then I flipped about that, my though. hair and said yes I am yeah, yeah. there you go you gotta come girl, back into it I did cause I got weirded yeah, out yeah you was second, like huh? and I leaned back in my my car and I was like wait a minute bitch right, hold on. Like, wait a minute girl hold on, hold on. and so then see y'all I, I got you on right, it and so I had to flip my hair and I was like girl yeah. yes I am girl do you listen every week yes. yeah. Monday morning mm-hmm. and then you just you, you walked into your truth yeah I walked say, into right? my That's what's up. so so the uh dad y'all y'all are doing a great show I just wanted to highlight a couple of moments these past couple of weeks that literally I had to shut it off at work I couldn't not that uh, close. You know, uh, Everybody's like, I have to shut my office door. So, <laughs> so the the skits that you do at the beginning of the episode, <laughs> <laughs> you had the one shout out to get out where uh, when I had stirring, the tea, <laughs> you were stirring the cup with tea. And James David, David James. yeah. Oh man, so uh, that that whole story is hilarious. Please go back and listen to it. So yeah, man. Please tell them because he was um, in there looking at gay sex. He tried to play it off. Shout out! I and, said it. And, but you know what? For, we're gonna talk about one one of these votes for uh, uh, Dr. Rick Jones in a second, and he had an abstained vote when. But but before I was I was about to go in on him, but this, but I did some research. Shout okay. out research. I'm gonna hear that. And, we gonna hear you know, that. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll talk about that. But uh, the Pilot Podcast, they can find it anywhere they find podcasts. They can find it any well, not Google Play. Because what we discovered is people don't listen to Google Play. Yeah, really? they don't. Have they you don't. ever looked at your numbers on Google Play? It, they're Go look at them. They're, they it's are probably a they're no, it's Nobody listens to that, Literally. girl. And which is great. Because it I tripped remember. me out because I'm doing some... Because re- I usually... I let LJ kind of yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. all of that. I just right. show up with the mic. And, and I'm here. I got my it. mic. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. And so then my marketing mind came into play. And I'm trying to like move some stuff around. And we were getting ready for the live show. Right. And... I'm like, let me go on Google Play. Because we mm. were trying to count our the listeners. Right. We were trying to count our spins. And I think it's dumb that iTunes doesn't allow you to do that really. Yeah, it does. iTunes has a lot. And so I was trying to find we'll a way. I'm just a Googling. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to find a I'm way find a to way. count yeah. my numbers. And, yeah. I couldn't. and I was like, let me check Google Play. Yeah. Chat, not a <laughs> listen. Yeah. yeah, don't feel bad, though. I, I don't said, know anybody. don't put nothing else back on there. Take all of them off. <laughs> I just throw it up, bro. Just I was yeah, heated. I, 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 I still just throw it up. And I don't so, even in care. In my mind, I'm like. Up, we I'm do like, the Stitcher. Yeah. Google, um, Google Play. Stitcher, uh, iTunes, and SoundCloud. Bet. Back, I just back. need to be able to count. No, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I, get it. I need to see I the numbers. Like, I almost so. want to take it off everything and make people go to SoundCloud, but I might lose some listeners. So I ain't going to do that. Yeah, because yeah, no, no. iTunes <laughs> is. SoundCloud, iTunes SoundCloud, SoundCloud ain't perfect either, yeah. so, you know. No, nah, it's not. But not. but so, so shout out to that. And the backstory for how we all connected with the podcast is these are these are two trap alums, trap vets. So mm-hmm. we were all we were all collectively the, the starting group that got together and did the podcasting from the studio, which is still in a uh, undisclosed location mm-hmm. somewhere in yeah, Louisville. Yeah. Y'all don't need to know where that's we so. really don't need y'all showing up. So especially not now. No. <laughs> <laughs> please don't please so, don't pull up. So one of one of and uh, now I remember um through the way it worked was thirty fifth in Kentucky was first. It was unscripted, myself and somebody else. And through them, I heard. I think I think Murph commented on a he like, uh, you know, I ain't up on social media. What's it called? The repost. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. So you reposted one of your shows, and I'm like, what's this? And uh, I was just like, man, she's black. I don't know. I'm not familiar. What it, what is this young lady speaking of? <laughs> and I, I clicked so, so, on the link. So <laughs> I clicked on the link. I'm like, this is actually good. Like, what? Is, this is from Louisville. Okay. And then to take it a step further, 
Um, our mutual friend, shout out to P. We can say her name, right? Yeah, Felicia. Say Felicia. Yeah, shout out to Felicia, Felicia with a P. Yeah, that man. makes you feel special. <laughs> Felicia we, with a P. Uh, well, I, I knew her because I one of my favorite past sounds on Instagram is to troll her posts. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever she about the end, it's time it's that time of the day <laughs> where i go through instagram posts let's go because you always post stuff about food that she can cook i'm Bruh. just like the edges look a little burnt what's going on there like, talk, let's talk she about posting that. all kinds of grub i'll be like where my plate at, right, right right like you gotta quit putting it out there like you got a plate for everybody but i thought i was alone in my trolling endeavor until someone by the name of thug delina jolie was almost topping all of my trolling. I was yeah. like, who is Not this that, person? Who is this girl keep popping up? <laughs> who this? So little did I know that you were one and the same. And I listened to the show. I was just like, man, Murph, let her know. If she, you know, she's interested in the spot, blah, blah, blah. Before you know it, you came on. and uh, Teddy took me out my mama's uh, TV room. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to <laughs> Teddy. No, man, listen. Because it was, it was good content. Like, so one of the things about that I love about everyone collectively doing the different shows is I get I may have three different takes on something that's similar from the different shows, but by the time I walk away, I'm entertained every time, right? So when I heard your show, uh, I, I was just like, you know, I, I don't I don't tend to think of relationships like you talk about on the show, which is good because it's a unique perspective. I come from. You know the 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 old married dude, just whatever, just because it's you real out in these streets. Bro. You forget, just, I man. forget. Like yeah, like you know, it's been a while. So there's a lot that I just <laughs> didn't know. It's so it's the struggle is <laughs> so real out here in these streets. Bro. But but the show itself, I, I wanted. I was always curious, like how when did you get that moment of like, yo, I want to start this. I want people to hear exactly what my perspective is. And, and what was the what was the first moment for you to like, boom, I'm gonna do this. Facebook. Yeah, I would share articles Shout that I would come across. Tire that just rolled right. by, by the way. Get that yeah. together. Uh, <laughs> 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 I would share articles and put my own caption to what I thought about it. Okay. And so, um, shout out to the R and B singer. His name is Rob Lee. I think he was the first person. He was like, "You should write a blog." And I'm like, "I don't really want to type up like all of these things. Like, I think that's so tedious and time consuming." Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, blogging's great if you don't have a voice but i have a voice i'm not gonna do that so uh my brother that's cool like what that's just proof of how professional you are the fact that you just threw slander and it didn't sound like slander it wasn't slander towards all the bloggers but i talk bloggers is cool like i might start blogging one day you just never know yeah you just never know so i was i have a blog coming out famous plug (laughs) nice sometimes blog is cool like but not all the time you don't Mm -hmm. some stuff you don't want to type up some stuff people actually need to hear you say tone it. Absolutely. Tone. Yeah, yes, yeah. I don't want nobody to misconstrue what I'm saying. Like, gotcha. if I'm being, you know, hard, I want you to understand, like, I'm coming right. directly at you. So my brother actually turned me on to uh, podcasting. Mm. He was like, get this app. It's free. Do that. And I was like, oh, word, free? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I all I need that. is a mic and a yeah. bet. So I had, you know, friends that I already, you know, shoot the beep with, because I can't cuss on it. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> shoot the shoot with. <laughs> Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> shoot the shoot we you know so i would have them people that i trust let's right. put that out there yeah but come yeah. to to my crib at the time i was sure. still staying with moms so yeah. it was like you can't you ain't about to have everybody running out my house okay yeah. Like, yeah. so it's gotta be like somebody got close. it's gotta yeah. be somebody that mama has you know met before and right. it just it, it grew from there to the point where <laughs> it was just like <laughs> man mama be going off <laughs> who was in my house you better make sure everything is cleaned up uh, put this i'm like girl uh, we are walking but i don't care uh, He's like, okay, your rules. Right, right. Your, your rules, whatever. So yeah. it grew from there, and then uh, the opportunity was extended yeah. from the uh, podfather. The podfather, no, yeah. as we no, no, no. affectionately no, call him. And I wanted to mm-hmm. I want to do this publicly mm-hmm. because you actually, you're the one that actually pulled me fully out of my funk. When you well. called me that one day just to ask me about Lucky Day, shout out, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, is Erica your cousin? I'm like, yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> I seen, and this is back in November. Like, I think it was our last live show. He was right. like, I'd seen her. At y'all's live show, I'm like, this is, and it took about four <laughs> weeks for me to figure it out. <laughs> this is May, <laughs> no. Yo, four okay, months. okay, right. four months. You're right. So you took about four months just to so be like, ain't that your cousin? Yeah, yes yeah, yeah, sir, yes yeah, sir. Yeah, and yeah. he was like, well, what are you doing with your show? And I'm like, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, nah, <laughs> I, don't, nah. I don't know. What well, I'm and, doing. and part of it is for selfish reasons. Like I just, I enjoy, I, I enjoy everybody's show. So 
when it's not going on, I'm like, what's going on? Like, let's, let's talk about it. What are the I'm barriers here, here, right? I'm, I'm a cancer, so I'm emotional, yeah. but not to the point. Yeah. <laughs> not that. I'm yeah. more, I'm on the hard side of it. Like, yeah. I want to fight somebody. Right. Cancers. Yeah. Cut some. I'm not the. the I'm not gonna weep about it, but I mm, will get mm, angry mm, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when I, I and just kind of step. You just kind of step. <laughs> up. You sometimes you have to. Yeah. You have to step back and like. Are you on a show with another one? You know. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. My God. Um. Yeah. Shout out Z. Um. <laughs> so you, sometimes Z? you. I, I I figured out in life that sometimes you have to step away from stuff so yeah. you can kind of get a full mm-hmm. you know yeah. view of what you're doing, mm-hmm. yeah. and you know talking to my family of course and. And especially Keisha, girl, get in there and do that. Like, yeah. stop. Like, you're stupid. Like, why are you questioning yourself? Why are you doing this? This I and this. I understand that. Yeah. So you just kind of. I was like, let me fall back a little bit, right? And let me collect my thoughts, and I'm gonna, you know, try to step at it differently. So that's what I did. I that's would cool. like to do that. Like, I can feel that. Yeah. I can because it becomes that. overwhelming at some points, and yes. then you don't want to oversaturate the market with yeah. your presence you kind of want to give that do you miss me and then kind of right. yeah. well, give them something and, and the great thing about that is i mean this is turning into some some it's a therapy behind, it's no a therapy no session. behind the scenes podcast and stuff. it anybody, is because everybody anybody, don't understand that you know, like like it's they're job. all uh. of us all of us i think potluck has done done it the least but for me listen I've disappeared for months. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I took right a now. whole I, month out. Like, yo, I literally cannot right yeah. now. Cause and th- we come. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, just wait for it. It's coming. No. We come. And really, the reason why we haven't been able to is yeah. because when we do step away, yeah. it's like, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Yeah. Where y'all yeah. at? And so right, right. LJ's like, oh, we got to get back in. And right. I'm like, well, I need a break. Right. right. I need a little moment. Because we've been going really hard for yeah. two, almost Listen, going almost into and, the and second I'm, year. Yeah. I'm going to share with you. Uh, the same time I share with the audience what what my philosophy has now evolved into, and that is I, not to be whole tepish, but <laughs> allow me to be whole tepish. Allah, Allah. <laughs> you know, something but I would Allah appreciate it. That's our nigga <laughs> in the in the aisle with this alkaline water. So, uh-huh. so my my philosophy has grown into I I'm not going to hold myself to the standard of a weekly podcast anymore. Yeah, that's because that's what was I happening. I thought about it, yeah. and I'm like, why am I every week stressing myself right. to get an episode every week? Mm-hmm. And you know, the, thankfully, I the one gift I have is to get good people on the podcast. Like, I listened to a couple shows where I was struggling <laughs> to get through it, but they, they, you know, brought the energy up, good, good conversation, whatever. But I hate what I did on a couple shows. So I'm just like, man, I can't. I don't listen to my shows anymore. Yeah. I think I stopped doing that, too. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. Not See? fully. I won't listen to I'm a jerk. So, yeah. LJ, <laughs> and he doesn't, he, he doesn't won't edit it. it out anymore. Yeah. So, so I'll go it. back and I'll say, um, you know, hey, at 1.222, two, two, take yeah, that out. Take, yeah. take that out. Take that out. So, I started yeah. doing it. But if I'm in the moment and I know I messed up, I say, LJ, take that out. Yeah. While we're recording. So I'll make you and take so it I'm out. I'm going to make you take yeah. it out. Yeah. Because yeah. I cannot. No, but I, I stopped I listening it. to myself because I'd be like, why did I say that? Yeah. But now it's just, if it's out there, it's just out there. That's what I do. I just throw it out. No, nah, I, I completely get it. Because we be I inappropriate. Completely. Well, mm-hmm. but funny. Like, uh, there, I like being uh, inappropriate. Shout, shout out to Tony Kornheiser, uh, who said, <laughs> I forgive anything for smart and funny. You know, like. <laughs> Most things yeah. you can get away with. That's all I'm saying. LJ makes me out to be some type of slur. <laughs> this dude. I don't know this why dude. you talk about me in this manner. I don't understand. I'm nothing like that. So that I'll bothers just, me. Like, I never I'll want just, to meet a guy who doesn't have a sense of humor nah. and goes back and listens Listen to, to those. Yeah, yeah, nah. He's going to be like, what exactly are you about? Right. I really am like a church girl. Well, real. I really make myself out to be like just like one of the... Like you can't get close to me. Like it's so difficult. Yo, and we'll talk about. Granted, so, it is. Speaking, but. speaking, speaking <laughs> of, speaking of, uh, you did a great episode. The last one, your Feel? first one back. Yeah, shout out to Kendrick. So, and, that uh, was. Y'all you don't know. even understand how much, like that song. Just uh, the first listen, and I was like, oh my god, he knows me. Like he knows. Me. I, I feel like, and like yeah. I sat there and read the list. I'm like, this is. That's me, bro. Like, I've literally right. been, that's the whole month that I took off, that's literally what I've been dealing with. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, I got to use that just to to come back. Well, Why not? allow me to say this is, um, you know, both of y'all doing great. And if I don't get a chance to say it at the end, proud of y'all. Great shows. Keep growing. Keep doing your thing. It's awesome. So what we'll do, uh, stick with us. 
you already know. I mean, come on, you've heard. You got the radio. This is, this is gonna be. This is gonna be a I good show. It. It's he gonna does. be a good show. I love Eddie it. Ruxin. <laughs> y'all, y'all are All right, y'all, stick with us. We'll be back. Hey yo, it's time for me to speak that what? If you and fall between just a dollar in a dream In your wallet when you need that Plant it like a seed that Bloomed into a rose on a planet where MC's at Landed with my feet flat That big ball in three stacks Rosa Parks seat back Open heart surgery Time to bring the beat back That Owen Hart leap that When wrestling was fake But you still had to believe that It was hard to see that Cardi A frames trying to study for the G Mac. They say we from the hood, which means that we sleep at where the crossroads meet at, where the police meet at, where they got the weed sacks to re up and relapse. Where the recap comes before the react, the streets run like reruns and repeat back. Like where the recap comes before the react, the streets run like reruns and repeat back. Shout out to the homie James Lindsay on uh, That's right, that's right. Coming, coming with the bars as usual. That's the homie. Check him out on one of the past episodes. I knew him when he had the braids, bro. Yeah, talking about long. designs. <laughs> yeah. du- I'm talking about the dusty joints. We went to high school together. I'm talking about the ones Ooh, where they didn't shame. take them down. No, I've told him this several times. I said it on three to one. I was like, I like I'm not gonna be one of the people but like, oh, I know him. No, I know this dude. Like, know you, bro. Don't don't, don't try to be don't try. The designs, man. The, the designs <laughs> with the dust. <laughs> he used to come off in school like Yeah. Feel free, uh, James take Lindsay, him down to, and him. to respond to that <laughs> at the Why Not Podcast at gmail.com. Chill. You got my uh, number, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hit direct, bro. All right, so so we alluded to it in the intro, right? This is uh this is the the autopsy. The the, autopsy. the Yeah, yeah. We're 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 looking into what just happened here in the city of Louisville and that's that is the annual derby, right? So you should have played play a Derby City intro. I Ooh. have it on the playlist. That's what I'm gonna end with. You see, yeah. You see All right, yeah, so right so uh, so so, so shout out to the home. We'll we'll talk about you that. You need man. that because you're gonna get me start on my play a kick, nah, and then know. that's a whole nother. <laughs> oh, uh, right, so do so Chad. so I I always explain <laughs> Derby to people as follows that are from out of town. We're the only ones from Louisville. My family's from um, Alabama. So to them, it's just like. Too many horses. It's horses. What are you talking about? I'm like, nah. But nah. nah. We ain't dealing with not one (laughs) horse, bro. So when you hear Kentucky Derby, you feel like, oh, we're going going to the track and. No, we're gonna not. be uh, <laughs> with the with the white people that no, dress not. up really weird Barely. and and Tacky. you know yeah it's a little it's a little like uh, I don't know flowers man. lots of flowers Lo- lots, lots of, of hats a lot of lilies lot the hats don't roses. bother me so much. I, I yeah. live for a good hat okay yeah because you got to understand we started that. Well, I mean, we started just about everything. We, we started talking. a lot of this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> we so, started all of this. <laughs> Actually, we really up. want to be yeah. clear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, no but um, but that that I think is the commercial side of Derby. So, I want to give you some tips before we really go in. If you do have a chance to experience Derby that way, that's fine. That's cool. You know, more power to you. Yay. Just know that there are a couple of tourist traps. Uh, one being. The mint julep. Nobody drinks a mint julep. Mint julep Nobody is so trite. from here actually drinks a mint Ooh. julep. Right. It's it's, can it's, you add some Hennessy? Right. <laughs> Just you a got little some Hennessy in the <laughs> back. Right. Thank Something you. Something else. Yo, this right. is horrible. This is trash. And it's got tradition, history. But you know what? It's, so does. And it's very hard so to does make. Liver. Like whatever. It's very hard to make from yeah. scratch. It's yeah, not. I'm, I'm really. I know one person that makes a good mint julep. And that's Kev. 
Shout out to Kev, man. He was and at the live show that y'all did. Yeah, right? he's a yeah. cornball, so you know, this what? my bestie. What? And he, can, he can do that because yeah. I know I'm gonna make him listen to this. Uh, okay, and okay. I want to say so he could be like, oh, shade. Right. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for listening. Yeah, but I, I, <laughs> literally I hear, one of my best friends. I hear but he makes them from scratch. I hear y'all right? mentioned so him on the podcast, cool. but I didn't want to be like weird at the live show. Be like. I heard about you. What's up, man? <laughs> he nice would have been you, so with that. He would have been so with He'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like Kev's, Kev's that guy. Yeah, man. And yeah, anything man. that's different, he can do. Like, okay. like making a mint julep from scratch, he can do that. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so He's know. that guy. Yeah. So, but the way that Derby, that we've known growing up, that we used to celebrate when we were younger. Child. Was Broadway. cruising on Broadway. Throw that right? Hey, and just think of think of a more sir. centralized hey. version of Freak Nick. If anybody had a chance to, to do that, maybe not as wild, but but you know oh, the no. principles, the oh, principles no. of Freak Nick really really did go down. Hi, hey, little baby. Hey, hey little baby. So, uh, but but that has evolved over the years because after after that started. Um, that got shut down because you know. let, let's go back and touch it. Okay, right. so let's go back and touch please, it. So please. what it used to be, yeah, um, because it wasn't. It, I guess I was like a little, probably elementary, middle, elementary school. Okay, when it started getting it like out that. of hand, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. what what it was like back when I was little uh-huh. and my dad and them were growing up on Sundays. Oh, every still Sunday. to this day, Shiny? yeah. Shiny? You go down yeah. to Shawnee yeah. and Chickasaw. So you yeah. ride through the park, and yep. either you park and kick it, or, or you go to Chickasaw and you park and, and kick, kick it. it. And so what it became away. was more of the younger crowd would be at Shawnee, right. and the older crowd, old yeah. school, and it's still still that would be at Chickasaw. Yeah. It's still that way. Still, still, still that playing way. Playing tennis in Chickasaw. So <laughs> That's it. one derby. The yeah, one derby. <laughs> Everybody was just like, let's go to the park. Yeah. And so it got extremely uh-huh. fat. Yeah. And so the next year, they was like, well, why don't we go on Saturday yeah. instead mm-hmm. of Sunday? Yeah. yeah. So it got fat. And then as in those next three to five years, it, it got out of control. Out. Right. And so people would be heading, headed down to the park. Right. But the traffic would be so blocked up and so locked up mm-hmm. that you would stop on Broadway, not even purposely, just because we were going to the park. Yeah. And so Around people 18th, started it? yeah. It like yeah. People started right just parking their cars yeah, on yeah. Broadway because it was so mile. locked. Yep. And mile by mile. yeah, last yeah. mile on down. And yeah. then so then they were like, well, since you're already down here, let's try to switch it. Right. How about we have a little festival mm-hmm. on, on Broadway. Broadway? Yeah. So then they started putting up tents and yeah. they started Boots. frying fish out yeah. there yeah. and booze. Real quick, and do y'all still eagles. have any pictures in front of like the backdrops that were no god yo no. we got a couple of them Man. really Please. good thank god we did not have camera phones going so up in that thank road. god because god. here's the thing yeah. the last because my grandparents lived on 40, 41st and broadway okay. right next right to yeah. it turned into a bp but it used to be mr diggs so it was yeah. right there so we chilling on right. porch right you just like i'm at like, we're we're good. Good. Yeah. like it's whatever yeah. and so the the last year, I guess I was in middle or ninth grade, maybe mm-hmm. when I was able to like rock free. And now yeah. it's time to go. And that was and that was mm-hmm. the last one. All right, child. Even on Sunday morning, shut it down. It was lit. Kroger's parking lot was cracking. Yeah. Yeah. Shut boom, it down, boom, man. Boom, boom, boom. Like that's like we had been out all night, like twenty four oh, hours. Yeah, yeah full I mean, night, listen. You mean? That, I think uh, I was pregnant. No, I take that back. Uh, I was pregnant with Hayden. So okay. the last one. Yeah, the very official. The, the yeah. very last one, I was yeah. pregnant with my son because I walked up for a piece of fish. <laughs> I never she was like, I'm going to get my fish. So that was like, 12 years ago. Okay, uh, yeah. that's what's yep. up. That that's what's sense. up, man. Yeah, no, that's, that's the, that actually lines up perfect when uh, the last time we had a really good Derby on Broadway. It was so much so, fun. Like, oh my we just gosh. thought we was doing, yeah. we was well, the I mean, but, but you know, it was, it was looking back. Now, this is going to sound In like retrospect. I'm joking. In retrospect. Let's go retrospect. It's, it's, it's going to sound like I'm joking. But looking back, I think it was important, right? Because Louisville traditionally, um, it's hard to openly celebrate black culture mm-hmm. in a lot of spaces without there being some negative connotation, like mm-hmm. one way or the other. You know what I mean? So like, mm-hmm. For me, like it was just, it was just beautiful, man. It like, was fun. You it know, was really, really like fun. you got a chance to, 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 you know, try out whatever approach that you saw fit <laughs> for a young lady. You know, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, 
Yeah. She was getting Woo. dressed. I'm about to approach. I'm about to give somebody the day. <laughs> Let me tell you Shut something. I'm just did. This, girl, so dumb, this girl about to get this nah, one. She, she doesn't even know. And she then she gonna turn you down like, boy. Okay, yeah. that yeah. one didn't work. So let's like, just right. go back. Hey, it was to nice it. meeting you. Right. I'm gonna stand take over her. here. All right. Well, at least yeah. she was polite. Like most yeah. dudes, just like grabbing. Well, I've never. I've never. I mean, inappropriate. Grabbing at you. I've never understood that. Like the why? Why? Random thought. But like as a dude. If I'm interested and I'm approaching, and for whatever reason you turn me down, why am I gonna get mad? Why am I gonna get mad? I why, saw, why, am I, why am I calling you something? And, and, I just and, saw a you know? video of a Ego. man. A man would like literally punch this woman in the mouth, oh, wow. like literally fought her oh, because wow. she declined. Like, but, no, but I don't imagine, want to. imagine if she would have said, "Yeah, it's yeah. really <laughs> bad." Yeah, like yeah. it's really bad. Yeah. To the point where even now, I I, I always got a boyfriend. If, yeah. if right. I'm not interested, uh, well, I have a boyfriend. Well, I have a yeah. man. Yeah. Um, well, and, and then I think, and I had I, I feel bad that I have to lie because I really don't feel like I should. should yeah, but but that's it's the safer not to get that because the first version. fat bitch comes out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first it's fat bitch that comes out of your mouth is going to be a problem. Be an issue. So yeah. so that 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 is a perfect segue that we can talk about derby today, and. The role that both of you play, because here's the thing: you guys, you guys, you guys are doing some things here, right? So, <laughs> too so much. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you're doing let, too let's, much. let's let's start off with your introduction for your role in Derby by asking, because I I was there for everything, and by there I mean I saw the pictures on Facebook. <laughs> Derby, said, uh, you know, I, I call bad. it the Derby tour now, <laughs> basically, because I don't stop. Yo, like, like I go, start, go, go. I gotta hit Did you start spots. Thursday or Friday? I started Friday. Okay, so um, because I couldn't get a hair appointment sooner than that. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had more of it. So, so I had to get my hair done Thursday. So, to so start talk, the rest so of talk to me about what your schedule was for Derby. So weekend. this year I did. Uh, well, I I'm a good timer. Okay. I work for. If you don't know who the good timers are, they talk they are on. the best. African American party promoters in the city. Yeah, yeah. be mad if you want this to. This is true. Call that shade, yeah. whatever. It's just facts. No, no, so you, I agree. You, you're As known an for adult, things, I agree. but so, day uh, parties are big. Yeah, we big have day parties, uh, day parties yeah. night parties, weekend party, whatever sure. kind parties, of party bro, you want. You bourbon want? and B sides, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what kind of theme? Right. We started most of the ideas that everybody else carries on. Bowling parties, we did that first. And you even have a. A uh, incredible DJ that we may know in these podcast streets. The, uh, the as well. best DJ in you know the city of Louisville, mean? hands down. Uh, no questions no asked. No questions <laughs> asked. Shout out to 321. And uh, I love B-Night. DJs, and I, everybody loves me, and I put yeah. everybody on, but yeah. everybody understands yeah. that he is one. Z. And you are two below. Yes. Yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. and that's just it. Love you all. Somebody, love when, when 321 was on my podcast, uh, somebody was just like, uh, You know DJ Zellner? I was like, Wait a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't been to a party in a long time, but even and I'm I know sure it's not even DJ I Zelda. know that, that <laughs> definitely that not is DJ Z Nice. So shout out to him, man. He's, yeah, he's, baby, he's, mama's he's favorite DJ. It was his tagline first. There you go. Anywho, there you go. so uh, <laughs> I say what he can't say. Um, so anywho, <laughs> um, yeah, I work for the Good Timers. Originally, right. the Good Timers used to be known for throwing the parties at the winery. Right, back in I the remember day. that. Right. Uh, at the I time, I was dating a guy. Okay. who played in the band at the winery. So originally, and I'm going to help you. <laughs> Thank you. Help, help, him, help. Him. Originally, I would the good timers threw parties at the 10th Street Winery, right, right? And I had a boyfriend okay. that played in the band. Yeah. He was the drummer. His name mm-hmm. was Lou. There you go. And I feel like um, it's a Chrisette Michelle song about that. It is, yeah, and I used to think yeah. that we was really meant was to make y'all. it because of, yeah, go. I did. That was right. I did. Girl. <laughs> it was and a, yep, it wasn't. But hey, <laughs> I'm for the moment, threw some shade. Let me no, come back. So for the moment. <laughs> I had my little drama boyfriend, yeah. so I am I'm a very supportive girlfriend. Also, a very crazy girlfriend. Okay. So I would go to all the gigs because girls like to wow. sit on the drummers' laps okay. and things. We're not having that. We're uh-huh. not going to do that. Uh-huh. So I would go to all the gigs, and the people that, that would run Brian, the how do you door. Play your li- girl? I mean, they just yeah. always they tried it. <laughs> Extra. Um, the people that were good timers, okay. I grew up with. Right. So every once in a while, I would go up to the door and say, "Hey guys, you need some help." Right. And I would help out. Yeah. And the main girl ended up going to law school. She said, I'm going to law school. I don't have time to do anything. I ain't taking no money. Why don't you take over doing the door? Mm. And so that's how I got my little gig. That was in 2007, maybe 2008. That's deep. Here we are in 2017. How about that? And the responsibilities grew. Yeah. 
and they started going, hey, Britt, what do you think about this? Hey, Britt, what do you think about this? Yeah, yeah. And I would get annoyed. I would come to set up, and mm -hmm. Bib would be like, move that chair here, move this chair here. And I would right. be like, who cares about the chairs? <laughs> and then now, as I started you know, getting into event planning, I understand uh, why he why? was so anal about the chairs. Right. Why yeah. I've learned so much from working yeah. with them. So flash forward to today, uh -huh. we throw the biggest <laughs> derby yeah, party yeah, on the weekend. Clearly. So... Um, on on Derby, the Derby Eve Bash is what it's called. Okay. So, this Friday, I mean, this Derby, I did the Derby Eve Bash. Right, that's one. And then um, there's another friend of mine, Fitz, Fitzgerald, Dress and Behavior. Uh -huh. He has an event, and it used to be just for his immediate friends, and right. it grew bigger and bigger, and he decided that he wanted to make it an actual event. Okay. And so, he has a brunch every Derby. That's dope. Where everybody comes dressed in their best Derby attire. So, that's one of the many Super outfits fly. I saw you in that yes. weekend. Yeah. Okay. So, right. you are to come in hats and fascinators and suits and yeah. just, you know, and you he doesn't even have to really tell you. You just know. You know, because uh -huh. yeah, if, like you know if you know Fitz, if you know Fitz, then yeah. don't yeah. come in there silly. Right. Right. So um, he had that at the top of the view on mm. Saturday morning. Mm. Uh, every year, my aunt has a um, a derby party. It's mm. getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Starting in her basement. If you come once, you're always invited. Uh, Literally started from the bottom. From the bottom. <laughs> and now yeah, she's in a tent. Here. We're here. Yeah. And so yeah. now she rents out a tent. And she has a theme every year. And okay. all of my cousins come. And people come from out of town. And yeah. the who's who come. That's another outfit. Okay. That's another outfit. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yo, like, I was, I was looking at you through the weekend. I was just like, yo. Rick keep changing. Oh yeah, changing I, changed, I kept changing, changing clothes. Yeah. And then, of course, Saturday night, the biggest party is the Daryl Griff Foundation. Right. Daryl Griffith Foundation um, gala party concert. What, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yes. Griff. Which is Griffs. As, as, as Griffs. we lovingly call it. Griffs. You want a Griffs this year? Yeah. I'll be at Griffs, Griffs this year. Yes, right. And so it used to be in between there there right. was the official derby gala that the Bridgmans used to put on. Right. I remember that. Right. And then they kind of let that go, but they came back this year with the trifecta yeah. Yeah, yeah. and was oh. like, ah. Oh, like, oh, we got you. Oh, you thought we was finished. <laughs> and it's invitation only. And nice. we're going to have Jill. And we know Brittany and wanna come. And McGill. She's going to work for the good times. But right. anywho, um, Sorry, and Miguel because yep, yep, he's yep, fine. Yep. And so, yes, I got um, and then Sunday, <laughs> Don't speak on the no. for Don't years, there was really nothing on Sunday. No, what? And then I went on maternity leave one year and the good timers decided that is they were going to do these things called day parties. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. And I said, what is a day party? Day like, you're going to party so during the day? Yeah. yeah. And we started. It seems logical, but everybody the venue, was just like, whoa. The venue was cool. The first one we did, they started yeah. in this venue, and it was a very open feel. So the day party right. has to have an open outside, right, whatever. Right. But one right. thing that the Good Timers have mastered over the years is having a multiple parties in one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So at that party, you couldn't really do. At that venue, you can do multiple parties in one. Right. And so they, mm -hmm, yeah, they found the ice house. And so now we can throw a party on the roof, on the courtyard, and in. Everywhere. If we wanted to. Nice. And so thus, <laughs> thus came the day party mm. series. So now on Sundays, we do the day party. Derby is exhausting. I take off that Monday. Yeah, and I usually call. try to take off half day that Friday. Because we yeah. do set up and everything. But yeah, that was the Derby tour this year. Okay. Next year, we will add on the Hundred Black Men Gala, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> which is Thursday night. Right. And there's another gala too on Wednesday, but I'm not really sure what that is. Right. And it's really right. just for Black people to dress up and like get pretty. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Get looking good sure. and hear yeah. themselves talk about stuff and yeah. pass feel, around feel offering important. plates and sure. stuff. Sure. Not so sure. you know how we do so, it. And, pass and, the plate. And, and Red, I know, I know you in these. Uh, S K R E E T S as well. Screets. Yes. Many screets. Yeah, yeah. So so talk about your, your derby. Your derby experience. What did I do Friday? I didn't do absolutely nothing Friday. You, you came you to the Derby up. Eve Bash. No. -uh. Last Wait. year I did. You didn't come to the Derby Eve Bash? No, not did this year. Go? Nope. When did I hug y'all? Sunday. Day party. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So Friday I didn't there really do anything. Mm -hmm. Uh I don't know why. I was just on mm. some I'm gonna chill. Shade. Yeah. No, that ain't. Uh, no, nah, that was money. What you, you know talking what? about? It was like I can't. <laughs> but, but really, we not hitting everything. But for the record, even if I wanted to go, uh, it's an understatement to say that a lot of people are interested in going to these events. Yeah, they popping. So it might be hard to get in at times. Then that's that. Like I'm not gonna say who, but somebody described <laughs> the line outside. Mm -mm. 
as they were against the window, <laughs> like. No, that was the day party. That wasn't even That's the day party? That's the day party. Okay. Day party. okay. Don't okay. do my Friday party. I got my no, Friday, Friday party on straight. lock yeah. okay. because okay. Okay. my right. goal is to not have a line. Okay. But 3,000 people. Now, last year when I did on three go, floors. Yeah. With last seven year when different I parties went. at the same time. Yeah. And anybody want to come Ooh. holler at me, you can't because okay. we killed it. But the La- day party. Last, year, <laughs> at, right. last year is Friday. You know, yeah. Derby was crazy. Yeah. Somehow I became a part of Ron, Rondo's uh, entourage. Didn't nice. Know it. nice. I was with Wick. <laughs> and like nice. looked up and she was like, we move. I'm like, we? <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> who's we? We going upstairs. I'm like, who's we? Yeah. Like, I came here with you and yeah. hey. what, whatever. So Friday didn't do anything. No question. Yeah. Let's go. Just move. Let's I ain't go. trying to look like no groupie though. That's the problem. Nah, like, I didn't know. even, I wasn't even nowhere near Rondo. I'm just going to put that out there. Like literally mm. this nigga was like all the way up here. And I'm like, he's not like that anyway. Though. He's not. Yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> he's cool. He's real he, cool. He's straight. Whatever. So Saturday, I went to uh, the Jack Daniels party, the arts, beats, and lyrics party. That line was uh, why you like crazy, that? like crazy out the building. My homegirl couldn't get in. You're right. It was. I felt like a lot of people found out about it. So like right. nine forty-five ish. Murph couldn't even get in. What the coupon? Murph couldn't even get the in. The coupon. He said I was in. outside. Yeah. I could hear Z. I was like, yeah, bro. I want to <laughs> try that next year, maybe. It's really fun. Like last year was, you know, the first year of it, and yeah. it was really low key, which was great because they had the art. They had the. Right. Um, they limited to just Jack Daniels drinks uh, last year. Okay. So this year they opened up the bar, and that's where the problem came in at. Because uh, when you got complimentary tickets, you just walked up, give me the Jack Daniels and this, give me right. the Jack and that, and you had tickets. Right. We was in there folded because <laughs> they were just passing the tickets here here i'm like cool and so this year you had to like struggle to get a ticket and yeah. then the the line for the bar it was crazy my Banana. god okay. it was crazy but z killed manny fresh not so much um mm-hmm. manny was spinning I manny closed out the show and he was garbage because the dude was the so other bad. dude i heard the dude before man was a monster oh, oh yeah. my god yeah, i heard he was a yeah, monster because i kept looking at z, like it's weird if me and Z is a party together because we somehow lock eyes and mm. we're reading each other's mind. Yeah. It's it's kind of weird if you said, it was like, what are y'all doing? I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm uh, telling yeah. them, like, you, yep, are I you killing know. it? Are you doing X, Y, and Z? And so I did that. I my, already know. My connect did not work out for Griff's. I was hoping. Oh, man. Because that's what kind of happened last yeah. year. I got a connect. Man. She was like, girl, come up to the, let's go. <laughs> Harriman <laughs> ran up our got in for the. Yeah, whatever. And um, right, 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 <laughs> right. I ain't going to out you like nah, that. But nah, it's not important. I couldn't yeah, hit grips this so. year. Yeah, I don't Sadly. even ask for it. And I, I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, because of the party promoter and see, that's thing, the goal is, I don't ever have to pay for anything if I don't want to. See, the goal right. is to but work I on my juice content to. this year. Right. Yeah, I, <laughs> I got to get my juice up. Because I like to support. Because I want people to support us. Right. So right. I choose to. But I'm not standing. I did decide this year. I was. I will not stand in line. I'm working mm. on my now. I'll buy a ticket, but you're gonna come get me out of this line. I'm working on my <laughs> juice content this year. I, I was about to say to the boys, like this is ridiculous. I mean, we got to work on this, getting this this juice up. That way, when they see us, they should be like, oh, yeah, go on, go on, let them slide through. So on Sunday, passing on my derby tour, right, <laughs> went right. to the day party. Got there at four. Okay. Which was smart. <laughs> well, she's right. smart because I figured I, me and Keisha missed the, the online tickets to twenty dollars. We gotta get there at four. We got there like yeah. three forty five. The said day party going to the line the was at the stop sign at four o'clock. Crazy for yeah. the day party. Yeah, Jeez. and the stop sign is like a whole whole, whole lot. Yeah. 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 all the way and around. Yeah, huh. so. I think three, I might sell water to people waiting. You line. should. You Next should. Time. And Next I time. almost was like, if yeah. somebody had a food truck, they would come Bruh, up. Right they here. would make <laughs> because no one, one left. Yeah. No, they would understood not. and understand that people yeah. stood in line or around in the vicinity from four o'clock to nine o'clock. Funniest, yes. funniest derby yes. meme that I saw was the Kermit and the evil Kermit thing. And they said, and "Get they your said, ass up." <laughs> 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 said, "Should I? <laughs> Yo, we can't get into. We can't get into." Do you understand how pissed off I was? Here's the thing. I'm working the door. I'm trying to get crowds. They look like Walking Dead up against the window. Yeah, it's so yeah. weird. And I'm That's trying crazy. to get everybody calm. <laughs> right. And then we have a group text going on to okay. let everybody know what's going on in the building. Hey, right. somebody's like smoking. Talk, right. Yeah, somebody's trying to smoke weed on the top floor. Somebody's yeah. trying to do this there and get him with the hat. Get Too him, much you know. Twerking, sure. And we're going <laughs> through, you know. And then all I see was niggas coming over the fence. Get there now. <laughs> 
<laughs> like what? And I'm holding the door, and I'm trying, and I'm like, what? Girl, what? <laughs> they on the fence. <laughs> and so I'm looking around, and I see all the commotion. And I'm like, who does that? It's never that serious, man. And it's like, like, you know what? Like, that's that's one of those things. How like, desperate that's one of those to get in a party. I'm going home. It's not meant for me to be here. I wouldn't have waited thirty no. minutes. I'm, like, I'm I giving mean, you my best. I'm glad y'all waited. Right. right. That's a compliment, though. It, it is. It's, it's a, a testament to like what kind yeah. of party is about to go down. The reason why everyone and it was bananas inside, from what I could hear. I'm but not. I never could step over the threshold well, okay. to get inside. Yeah, can good. I can I comment on the, the inside? Sure. And I'm gonna try to not say any names, but uh-huh. I will say my bro's name. So Z yeah. was DJing, yeah. and this is after Kid Capri gets out. Kid Capri Kid does Capri. a good job. Whatever. Capri. He comes so every year. Every Capri. year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he Z's doing his set. Yep. All of a sudden, people, men. I okay. use air quotes. Yeah. Men are starting to get on stage. MK? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then there's like, a couple, there's like a couple other people, too. Do you have a hot-ass hat on? He did. Thank you. Okay. He got yeah. on. Leather and a Here's the problem. Wearing. One. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> shoot. Shoot. So one promoter, <laughs> another promoter, gets on stage. He's okay. off to the side. I'm like, yeah. okay. And then another promoter gets on stage, but he's right directly in front of Z. Right. What are you doing? Then another guy gets on stage. Yeah. And this is a restaurant owner, okay. and he's on stage. Z is like, I can read Z. I'm, I peep everything. I'm very and see, and here's the thing, and, you, and you know that Z and I have been working together For from a while. when he was yeah. at Good Timers Party at the bottom. Yeah. And I said, steal yeah. the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take it. When people come in here, right. do what you got to do yeah. to get them to stay in your Every room. Time. Right. Every time. And it's been history. Yeah. Yeah. So I already know. And usually I'm in there, yeah. and I could be like, hey. Get them off the stage immediately, yeah. and and that way Z doesn't seem like the jerk. I right. take the L. He did Brittany's that. a jerk. She made everybody ask me. My uh, th- my thing was this: you didn't try that with Kid Capri was up there. Yeah. Why would you feel so comfortable with and the, compelled the, to try that hero, when right. I'm up here? Yeah. So I can read Z's mouth. Get the off the stage, and I'm yeah. like, Child, yes. That's yes. all I needed to see in my text message. But yeah. in all fairness, like, is is why, is, why is, though? It's two. It's two young ladies. I would assume, like, are y'all not here for the men twerking, or what? What, what are we? They talking were just. About? It wasn't even so much just twerking. No. It was just. Uh, it was more like a look at, <laughs> look at me, look at me. I'm up there. <laughs> look, look at me, and I'm like, I'm, I'm not used to. to right I'm sure. not used to grown Left men cheek, acting right like that. I'm not used to grown men climbing <laughs> over a fence in their good clothes in on that. top of somebody's car to get yeah. into a party. I'm not yeah. used to that, yeah. and that's what I told you. And him. your whole life shout when's that appropriate? Right. What do you do? Like, it's never that serious. And so, for the fact that. All these grown men are getting on stage <laughs> trying to take another man's shine, which is his time to shine yeah. right now, was, like, ridiculous to me. This man keeps wow. looking at us in there, and I'm getting ready to give him something. Yeah, Don't do it, listen, Gander. Shout out to Heidi Brothers. We, we are, we are pop, pop. I, I will say that, you know, respectfully, we are not the majority here. So No, no we're not. And no. we're off yeah. in the cut, so why yeah, keep looking? It's all good. It's, all it's, good. it's so, weird. So, yeah, so, I'm not used to grown men trying to snatch another grown man's attention. Yeah, it's that's strange to me. It's strange to me. Get that's kind of like I still stage, remember it. This is, this is the throwback, but we're going to close it. Like, I don't even think it was a derby thing. You remember when B96 used to do the summer series concerts? Yep. This was like, oh, it had to be 99, 2000 when next uh, no, no, not next, not next. Rough ends. Wow. Rough ends came, and they threw a shirt off the stage, and Super a young man, lady it. caught it. And then a dude was trying to grab it from her. Listen, like, what are we? What are What's we really doing? going on here? Why you want to know the grown man's shirt? What's I don't. I don't. You know, it's it, weird. It, 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 and this I don't is know not what a, that is. You know, like so I hope, awkward. I hope no one takes that as a. As a no, hit that's for, weird. No, it it's just weird. I'm just calling what it is. It's, it's weird. weird. It's a little strange. Don't take offense. It's weird. It's a little strange. That's all I'm saying. It is. It's weird. But Derby and Derby and all. Yeah. Is is. Black Derby and all. Black yes. Derby. We just have a really good time. Yeah. And we made it through, to my knowledge, without, without any. Yeah. Everybody made it on I through. Think, right. I may be at the end. Yeah, when whatever. it stopped raining. Yeah, we're we yeah. not focusing that. Because rain brings yeah. out the worst in everybody. But we, we yeah. made it We yeah. made, we it, made it, it on through. Right. We made it on through. That's good. So shout with out. Small fatalities. <laughs> small, for us, that's good. <laughs> if, if that's that such is a good thing. for the city of Louisville. And and I thank God that it did rain a little bit and kind of. Kept the riff in that. Yeah, kind of shake it up, kept the riff in that. We, we had a ball, though. My oh, left yeah. knee still hurts. So my left knee still hurts. Because ball of my feet still hurts. Yeah. Shout out Griff, to I had two tables, child, honey. We was <laughs> on, on top of both uh, of them. I'm on two tables. So good job, Louisville. Black Louisville, you, you, you did another year. We're proud of you. Keep it up. Um, you know, listen, if anybody's interested, we, we, we do this every year. So 
reach come out to us. We might down. even put some videos on. Come there through. All are, the Cali people come through. Yeah, I'm saying like, yo, Bella, Spirit, uh, Layman's, come on Child, through, man. Bella, come on through. His wife been uncocked, long time back, girl. That's a girl. Will you make listen. sure my husband gets back? Right, don't let him have some of my money. I put him on the plane. He has a little lanyard on him. Derby happened to him. Okay. Everyone's like, who's this? He walking in groups. All right, so shout out to Bella. Check out his show on the same feed, Bella style. So. Uh, we're going to take one more break, and after that, we'll be right back. We appreciate y'all sticking with us. All right. What? Aye, aye, aye. Yo, excuse me for a minute. I need to talk to y'all. Y'all ain't never been blessed by nobody from Louisville yet. <laughs> so we better take y'all on the ride. All the way through Chinese Park, back up to the East End. At the Shadley. Parkland. Victory Park, come on. I know you know me. I'm going to take my side. I'm driving about a ball, 8-5, down 6-5, sipping cognac, mixed down with five alive. The player of the year came in when I arrived. With my meat firm, I prefer to give you five. Keep my hoes locked in the safe, quiet ho. Don't you know I'm shooting c low and it's my road. In the Derby City, niggas killing for cheap thrills. So I keep my nine and one them so them caps peel. Melting in your skin, keep your hands up high, bitch. Pull it back again, brave man. Dig your ditch, I can make you famous, but for real, you're not worthy. First week in May, run for a couple, it come dirty. Yeah. 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 For that A and B selection, <laughs> it's my <laughs> let me <laughs> come on the from the chat. church of Louisville history. We have none other than player. You Shout need that, bro. Static, Shout out to Coach Ben. Static black. <laughs> ben, what, and up black? what up, what up, black? What up, smoke? Indeed, honey, Ben. So, uh, <laughs> hey, Ben. <laughs> Look at her. Stop it. <laughs> you know what? Eyes on back. Ben. Come on back. He's come dope. on back. So, uh, <laughs> that boy you know what? Sang, boy. I I, I want to commend you guys. For, for just doing great work, not only Derby, but on this podcast. Uh, y'all doing good, but but I want to also say that I'm a little worried about y'all. Okay. <laughs> All right? What, what, little, watch this. <laughs> Whatever do you mean, Teddy? I'm a little worried about Teddy. y'all because right now it seems as if, <laughs> it seems, and I may, be, I may be reading this wrong because I'm only going off the information it's of, off of, vibes you're giving the, of the, the women vibes. I know and love. It seems as if there's an epidemic going on. And social media and and telephones everywhere, everywhere, where you have young men that are ter- terrorizing, terrorizing, terrorizing your, your inboxes, uh, your comment section, your DMs, your your Snapchats, whatever All they can which, get a, attached to. Oh, they're going crazy. Yes, yeah. I, I, I was first uh, this this epidemic was first brought to my attention by the great philosopher Yo Gotti. <laughs> when he warned me that it was going down it, in the DMs. In the DMs. Apparently, down. I did not know this. Yes. I, I was not aware of the going down. So, And not in a way that you would enjoy it, like, actually like it to go down. Yeah. It's, like, always attached to some BS. Yeah. Usually. Okay. So so let's let's explain. The, <laughs> <laughs> some I wasn't shoot. supposed to hear it. Some I was shoot. trying to. Uh, just just some shoes. I was That's trying awesome. to Bull sneak shoot. in. Bullshit. So, 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 like, you know. Let's explain the problem, and then let's talk about some solutions on how we should, you know, let's you solve wanna, it. You want to go first? Yeah. Probably not. Probably you wanna, not. You want to go first? No, so, you, you're good. It's on me? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so how, 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 how do... Crack your neck. <laughs> Allow me to crack my neck. <laughs> how do, how do say like young men approach? Like getting this fight real quick. How, how, does this, how does this problem even start? What, do you sure. want, like, how to approach? 
Yeah, well, not not the oh, correct I have, way. Yeah. I also not because I have way. a correct way yeah, yeah. waiting. I'm gonna yeah. read this DM yeah. that I got last I, week. Oh, oh, yeah. When oh, I he tell came you, he it? killed it. Okay, okay. Like, boy, you I said, like, boy, I almost came <laughs> up, boy. You almost <laughs> went back on you. Up, to, right. don't throw it, don't <laughs> so, throw it on him. So, uh, what's the incorrect way? Some the some, incorrect some gentlemen way have, have tried to approach you, young ladies. On. If you got somebody and you know you got somebody, okay. do not approach at all. Okay. Just leave me alone. Listen, enjoy from afar. I'll say or that either too. just cut. Co- I promise you. Yeah. And uh, it's plenty of people that will tell you, yeah. I'm the coolest homegirl you ever gonna have. Exactly. Yeah. I have I'm no so problem cool. being a homie. Yeah. I have but no problem being a homie. Sure, but sure. what you're no, not gonna I do? I give you relationship advice. Right. I did. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's not yeah. good. I did do it. You yeah. know. But whatever. you, what you're not I'll about to do is kind of coast me into side shit without my consent. Yeah. Don't try to put your hand like on my knee and then move it up. Yeah. That's not appropriate. Consent. That's weird. It's very. Consent so is not just left to, you know, the sexual acts. Consent is, like, in everything. Like, let me decide gotcha. if that's what I want to do with my life. Well, see, that may be a foreign, foreign concept to some, some gentlemen. So you're saying that you actually have the choice? You actually have the choice of whether or not you should be interested in? in I uh, say, for me personally, I always say, know your intentions before you approach me. Hmm. I need, And I want them to be clear and Very concise. Very clear. Hmm. Not on some, I'm trying, no, like, because you literally, when you saw me or wh- whatever the case may you be. You knew what you wanted. You knew what you wanted. So even if, and I'm going to try to wash my mouth, but yeah. even if you wanted to, to church. smash, then you need to, don't take away for me. The biggest, the most disrespectful thing you can do is take away my options. Uh, and that's what keeps happening to me, uh, is that men keep deciding what I'm going to do with my life. And that's not going to happen. So, so by you, you need saying, to be, be 100. Be honest. Like, be I don't care. very honest. I, heard, I don't care I heard if it's cool raunchy. Person. I don't care if it's like, yeah. you know, the, the nastiest thing that came to mind. If yeah. you tell me that, then you... I learned, Listen, I you learned, don't know what I might yeah. meet exactly. that for. I you might hit me in a drought, and I'd be like, yeah. I mean, shoot, okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> girl, I, I girl, learned, it's been like six months. Man, I, just, well, I learned from Ricky Bobby that you can say anything when you start off with, with all due respect. So if a gentleman <laughs> were, were to say with all, with all due respect. I'm just trying to. Okay. I'm trying to yeah. get that, if you will. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good to know. Yeah. Gentlemen, or I hope you're listening. Or even just, you know, even if, if you that want is, a conversation, you can ease into it or whatever. Just don't. Don't leave me on. Okay. Yes. Okay. And if you are honest, yeah. know that that's what you said. Thank you. Because uh, I'm going to come back uh, and you're going to say, well, I saw you out. You, you said, said oh you didn't I'm want gonna, a relationship. You, you said, and, I, and, and hanging out with all guys, you yeah, know, my yeah. crew. Right. And it's all guys. I yeah, mean, it literally sure. from either aspect. I'm either with LJ, Kevin, and them. Right. I was always with Z somewhere. I was yeah. always... One thing that I learned from them is right. uh, men always, whatever they say, go with what they say. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so this guy was dating not recently. I, I'm not looking for a relationship. Bet. Yeah. Bet. Don't, don't now be careful. That. Note it. Be yeah. Note it. It's in here. Yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to get married again. Got it. Know got it. you. Okay. I, don't, right. I don't care how cool we are, how right. much I tell you that I really like you or I really right. enjoy you. But that's right there. That's right not there not in the back I of my I know that about you. I got yeah. you. You yeah. said you didn't want. And then as soon as I click, click with somebody else, uh, you get real shady. Get and you get uh, you get uh, a little tender. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be in a relationship. So. And you didn't want to be married. And I am looking for marriage eventually. Okay. So you put so, yourself in that category, huh? Yeah, that's you. I didn't tell you to say that. That's so what see, you wanted. That's Be interesting. Careful. That's interesting because I think this goes with a theme that keeps on popping up on the show. And that is emotional intelligence or EQ. Mm-hmm. Like, like, where is your emotional intelligence level at that you can truly show interest in a young lady? And, you know, as a man, I'm just like, hey, listen, she's dope. Like, what's up? But then when things don't work out, for whatever reason, all of a sudden she's she's all types of names or whatever, or or you know the problem that. the problem is, is on that. her, not you, right? right? So so I know that from a guy standpoint, just by having dudes and whatever. But like from from a woman a woman <laughs> women's women. So from a woman <laughs> standpoint, <laughs> like like I'm curious as as to you we we've talked it for a second about how not to approach, but but Britt, you you said that somebody actually approached you. In the right way. Oh, let me get it out. Get you, get you. <laughs> in the you right go. way. I, I want y'all to hear this. Cause, cause I, you know, because I, I li- no, wait, literally. Before, before you read this. Took my breath away a little I, bit. No names? No names. We're not. You not know. at all. Okay. Because all it, right. it, it never, it, it hasn't gone anywhere. Okay. Yet. Yeah, yeah. And, you know. I don't, you know. Because I, I don't want Ronnie to know that we've said. I'm sorry. <laughs> not Ronnie. I'm sorry. 
Foo, Roddy foo, Buffalo, foo. Yeah. Let me find it. Let me find it. But you did a good job, man. So, so, so <laughs> the gentleman saw me out. Like, we have lots of mutual friends. Uh, okay. We've been in the same space several times. Nice to play. Did, oh, so he wrote something to you? And we were out okay. at the same place at the same time. Hold on. I'm was the subject there. was the subject line your girl in the black? <laughs> your girl. <laughs> hey, hey, your girl. Yo, hey yo. I just didn't know if that was a technical term or not. I don't do know. people still do that? Yo. I don't see that's how like, I that's literally high had it up. Uh, that's Hold on. School. Just get, just bear with me. Just the first dudes like so, that. So why <laughs> yeah. Shorty in the case. As a dude. I, and why y'all are pulling that up? As a guy, uh, Maybe feel some type of way when when somebody uh, when, when a woman did that to me. I was just like, is that what but it see, feels like? But that's my problem. I don't. I'm so shy when it comes to like approaching people. So you shy sister instead of shy brother, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I'll yeah. like view from afar. I'm like, oh, I'm not shy, shy oh, at he's all. So cold. Uh-huh. I don't know uh-huh. how to. Approach if I it. see you uh-huh. and you're unattached, and I know that you're unattached for sure. Yeah. yeah. And shot. I'm feeling it. You like, hey, what you want to drink? If anything, even if I don't approach you, I'm gonna make sure you approach you know me. That. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, shoot yeah. you with them eyes. Yeah, I yeah. have done that. Smiling. I'm gonna rub up. Yeah. Oh, your arm oh, or something. Me. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I, and that's the yeah, best so you're, you're done. gonna. Okay. Yeah, so you're gonna. I've only did the eye if, contact thing. Like literally, like stared a dude down, and he. Yeah. I was like, come here, and I was like, boom, there it is. But <laughs> yeah. I was drunk. So, so, so right, right, right. real quick, yeah, so, so, real you. quick. So like, if, if that if that happens, and the dude comes up to y'all, just like, hey, hey. I got some contact solution. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on with you. <laughs> Boy, you don't get your no. <laughs> like, get that, okay, no, okay, okay. Never okay. mind. All right, so, so, so how, how, did, how did this, this young man? This gentleman said, right. um, so I wanted to tell you that it was a pleasure seeing you Saturday night, even though it was a short exchange. Oh. And if I may be so bold, you look gorgeous. Next time, I hope I can engage or at least buy you a drink. What? I hope you have a good day. Boy, you better Yo, boy, drop I'm the mic on oh, no, no. boy. boy. You know what? You know boy, what? Sure. Yeah. If I wasn't holding yeah. the mic, I would clap. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Hold Y'all on, can't hold. tell me he didn't kill that. He did. He, he did not. He did. killed that. He nailed now, it. Now he this, copy paste that. Killed on. that. And then I went like for a whole 24 hours. I was like, he really. Then the next day, I was like, he's probably kind of artist. All right, See, See, and that's what ha- no, because I agree with Brittany. Yeah, because anytime that you I get like a, a good got, feeling like, about a dude, you be like, he probably got some wife at home or something. Something, 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 something is going on. Right. I don't know. He it's might too be good guy. to be true. He might be that guy. Now, now, I mean, mm, when the, you come across a whole bunch of duds repeatedly, okay, it's yeah, hard for you to be. Nah, like, it is. It's like even the guy that I was kind of like sort of talking to here and there. You know, oh, just conversating. We're cool. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I pop out? Mm-hmm. And then he showed up with another girlfriend. girl. Oh, I don't man. know if he has a girlfriend, but, but he girl. showed up with yeah. another female. And he, I know, this dude. is this is my home girl. You know, yeah. because you know, because no. I have. Friends, I mean, I sure. show up with Kevin and LJ anywhere, sure, sure. Right, and if so, you don't know any better, right. yeah. but then but if when he was LJ, he's, he was walking, I'm trying to really show you, he was walking in there and he put that hand right there, cause got gotcha. you, nah. uh, nope, uh, nope, he's hitting it, got him, got him. Yeah, I said, I on the small of the back. Okay. No, but yeah, I, I actually know, dude. It's a sister. It was it was a weird brother no, sister relationship. They weren't the same color, so. I tried to. Dang. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right. So, <laughs> so tried, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, that, so and it that's still very very well could. Let me just. It could be a home girl. It could be, but I haven't talked to him since. Just okay. Found that odd. But yeah. <laughs> let me fall back. That's usually what happens. Yeah, and it's just let me fall like back that. because I felt very and I don't get jealous. Yeah. Right. So I felt very uncomfortable and no, I, I felt the it. way I and I was just like, you're not even gonna address it. Nice. I mean, when you don't address it, as a reason. You know, so yeah, yeah so it so, is. It is what it is. So, but it, you know, so red. This, this is something that you alluded to on the last episode on Banshee's Black. Check it out on iTunes. And uh, when, when you were talking about, listen, you know, uh, I believe, I believe the cool term was "keep it a buck." Am keep I correct? It, yes, keep it a buck. Now, for anyone that may be behind, that's one hundred. That's one hundred. Yes. That is one hundred percent. There you go. So, if you get fancy, you can say "keep it a buck fifty <laughs> If you want to add some extra credit to it, nice. yes. So, so I mean, in 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 your view, like we, we've heard an example of the best way to do so. If a gentleman were to do, uh, were to approach you correctly, how would that go? How would that go? I don't know. That hasn't happened. Yet. Man. It's yeah. usually people lead in with like com- compliments. Like your freckles, yeah. red hair. You know, they put, pick so out that's, that's attributes about me. Oh, okay. and then No, because it hasn't been someone that's like, um, you know, you hear most of the time, like, I want to get to know you. I've heard that before, but then the conversation kind of just stops. I'm like, you can't get to know me if you don't talk to me. So gotcha. Gotcha. Um, you can't lie. Don't lie to me and say you want to get to know me and then 
don't say anything else because I'm not going to keep approaching you because you're the one that wants to get to know me. No, so. I got you. I got you. I'm well, not going to chase you down. Hey, get to know me. Hey, why don't you get <laughs> to on, know me? Come on, what happened? I right, what happened? Let's get to know me. Like, no, nah, I'm not doing uh, that, bro. All right, fair enough, fair enough. So so let me say this, though. Um, I think uh, I think this is proof, and, and you correct me if I'm wrong, either one of you, that uh, the best game in the world is no game at all. Yeah, right. That's it. That's but all. but it's hard. Can we at least acknowledge as a guy talking to two women, it's hard for us at times, I would imagine, to just approach yeah. and just be like, hi. Yeah. Well, I yeah. mean, but you can you just know? keep it keep it simple. I mean, you so a lot of females don't even go for like the the whole game thing. Like, mm-hmm. uh, you this, you that. It's just like a simple, you know, what's up? How are you? Yeah. Things like that will be That'll work just fine. You don't have to. Don't start being extra. Yeah, then, don't be extra. Because yeah. then it gets weird, and I don't know how to, to respond to it or my initial response. I don't know if it's mean or not, so mm. I just kind of say it. And, and I've been told <laughs> that I'm not approachable, which is I've been told that Now, too. now I will say this. Too. That, with due respect, who said that? That's that's always a fallback from lame dudes. Yes. That have no other explanation for why. <laughs> you just <laughs> always look so mean. I'm just saying, like. You just, well, you I, won't know until you come talk to me. I don't ever look that. mean. That's, that's but here's the thing: like, if I'm if I am mean, and I am, but I'm not gonna be mean to somebody that's like. But you ain't gonna know uh, that at first. I'm not just gonna yeah. be like you. Be like, how you doing? If you don't get that, no, like I'm not about to. <laughs> I'm not right. jumping off the porch like that. Like, no. God, oh God, I'm intimidating. <laughs> Imit- intimidating. Well, it wasn't intimidating. Mm, mm. What is it? All right. Well, you, you know. don't know how to just say you don't know how to approach. It's, I, I will say this: though. I feel like uh, in 2017 there are. There is an epidemic. Is epidemic the word I want to sure, use? Yeah. There are more insecure men yes, yes, than ever. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. Yeah. And Very it shows. insecure. And I mean, just because of my nature, I, I can, you know, a little bit of insecurity because I'm not the most, you know. Right. I mean, I ain't, me not, you know, ain't nobody walking around. But I can do it. I can, I can do it. I can, I can deal with a little builder bear, you Ooh. know, and I, I can, can make you feel. Little, little. I can. Little, little, little. I can build a book. keep a builder bear project <laughs> on my damn hands. You know, I can build you up and make you feel better about sure, yourself or whatever, sure, sure. but you're not going to keep. Yeah. With that silly, I can't. No, I'm I can not do. about to just full I can't structure you. Ma- yeah, I can't completely. I'm not going to full structure Again, you. Again, I'm saying build a bear, which means there is a bear that I'm just right, stuffing right. some more stuff in. I Putting can't cool like. jackets on. I can't like cut like bear material and no, sew not. a bear and put nose and eyes. I'm just trying to stuff you have some kids. stuff in there. And you already have it. kids. That's what you do with your right. child. Like yeah, you, like. You yeah, I build. There you go. Because those are your kids. But a grown man is already. I need at least the carcass to stuff. I can't just. I'm not so, but I don't think that's a lot to ask. I really don't. So, I mean, I, I don't I think, like. I can't do that. Let me let me let, let's put this challenge out there. I think I think that there's a, there's a lot of potential out there, one way or the other, with <laughs> with, with these Somewhere. men and you know um, and, and with women. Like I I just think there's a lot of potential. So, you know, one day soon, maybe a show like this. Maybe this is the light bulb that a lame listener needs. <laughs> Right. This is you for the are, lame listeners. This, this is a lame light bulb episode. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what we might call it, man. That's, that's what you are. Lame. Lame. Yeah, that's what you are. Yeah. So bad. You so, lame listening. Uh, so once again, man, I, this has been a, a great episode. You guys have exceeded what I thought. <laughs> so foolish. Be. We have no. pretty funny. I man. know. I don't probably. Uh, she probably wouldn't hit me. I done touched this poor child. No, no, no. no, 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 no I give you an example. Showing how they. Yeah. No. 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 These weirdos. If I didn't know you. <laughs> and this was like first time meeting. Girl, like, I am hey. not a, like I can't do the touch it. That's <laughs> no. why I was like, maybe I shouldn't do that. Like, no. she probably be like, girl, we, we, we cool. Yeah, we we we, we, we cool. If you was just like a first time person coming, I don't. Hey, hey, sis, hey, could could you chill out on the on the touching me? Out of time. We're Thanks pretty, so we're pretty foolish. So so I'll come um, out of uh, red. What's happening? Thug Jolene and Jolie. Yeah. I mean, tell tell the people listening where they can find your show, the. Shows. And you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the shows, Banshee's Block and 321 are all available on iTunes, YouTube, Specter.com, mm-hmm. Google Play, but apparently no one listens to Google Play. But it's on there if you got the app. I mean. Right. Shout out to Androids. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't, I don't jump ship, so yeah. right. whatever that means. Welcome. Right. Not, not all that. But uh, <laughs> I still got a Samsung watch. It's okay. I'm not fully committed. Sorry. Um, but the. 
Thug Jalina Jolie everywhere, Twitter, IG, Snap. Uh, no Facebook, please. Although people keep finding me, I don't. Yeah. I don't even know why. Chad, that's I let all of them sit right on yeah. in that box. Too. Yeah. Now, yeah, that's a little tip. If you don't deny or approve, they just in lingo. They, so, like, but see, yeah. I'm I'm so I'm a stickler for like no, like oh, notifications tidy. on my so I gotta. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. I leave them all there. You yeah, like, I don't and like then my sister. when they say, I send you a friend request. And I know look. that they even listen to the show. I say, girl, I don't even be checking those. <laughs> and I do. <laughs> My sister has like 156. And then they'll say, well, I heard you say on the show, girl, I was lying. Girl, I'm lying. I'm not. But, I wasn't. T- I was talking about everybody else but you. I be telling my sister, I'll be like, could you like, I'll be, I'll actually look at I'll be like, that's my homie. She's cool. Oh, well, I guess. Like, Hashtag. two or three people. She'd be like, hold. I think <laughs> Everybody is, else is on hold. This is a first world podcast of problems that we're talking about. So no, don't judge us. Don't judge us right but now. But the, uh, so. the show, uh, Banshee's Black has a like page. You can like that. 321 right. has a like page. You can like that. 321 podcast on IG podcast 321 on Twitter. I need to start using the Twitter, actually. I don't I'll be trying. Yeah. I, I use my Twitter. I think my Twitter's popping more so than 321. <laughs> so, so, sorry. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. So, that, that's strong. Please check it out. And, and of course, Bretagious, where, where can they find your show? They can find the Potluck Podcast on Instagram, mm-hmm. the Potluck Podcast. You can email us, thepotluckpod at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter, mm-hmm. the Potluck Podcast. There you, go. you can like us on Facebook. The Potluck Podcast. Nice. Uh, you can follow me at Britagious yeah. on Twitter and Instagram. Again, no Facebook to my real page. That's weird. So uh, put more personal weird. things on there. Sure. So um, in my day to day situations, it's yeah. just weird. But you can do Instagram and Twitter. I'm yeah. a little shallow, so if, if the dude is cute, I will accept. I should, but, I, but I absolutely. will do a full scan. I do too. Yes, I go through the profile Baby picture. And I'm like, and yeah. Mm-hmm. If they got pictures of like a girl, I'm like, like is that your sister? Challenge accepted. Chad, no. I'm <laughs> investigating. But then again, right. sometimes that's a lie too because they don't even put them on their social media. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend to this day. I call his wife Wilson. He ain't never put a picture of her on social media. He's not cheating or anything. He's just weird he just, like that. He just and see those and, those like, and, I, and I can understand yeah. that too because yeah. he's like, don't be in my business. I believe, but that. I'm like, but anybody that's out here that's in everybody's inbox, and talking about, I don't like my relationship. So but he's public. A those potential dudes, potential inbox terrorists, not your friend. Just in no, general. just in general. No. Now other dudes just will but like other dudes yeah. are. They'll post money, weed, cars, yeah. homies, everything, not but will not yeah. post the women. There is this guy. I was going through this guy's Instagram who I know is cheating on his wife. Yeah, sure. And it took me. A solid three minutes worth of scroll to get to a picture Just to of his get wife. The, wow, a lot of loading. I said, wow. "Girl, you know, you should know." Now that you he's know, cheating. right? Yeah. You and then right. the description of her, like my world, my whatever, mm-hmm. yeah. it was real basic. Bake. It was very basic. Hey, very basic. you've been I rocking love, with me. I love you. Thank so you for hard. putting me putting up no, with me. I hate those and captions. Thank you for putting up with me. Yeah. I hate those captions. You're cheating. Ah. Uh, oh, or this one, we've, we've been through hell and back. I'm like, right, you know cheating. cheating. You know you've been cheating through hell and back. That's or why. Got a, or even when they got the multiple account. Cheating. Cheating. <laughs> you know, they got an account together and he got one on the side. Cheating. And on that note. <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't about to get there me you beat go. down. No, no, All right, no. So, <laughs> we just trying to throw out you the clues. You done said that's how. Those are breadcrumbs, ladies. No, 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 I was going to be like, mean, no, Teddy. No, no hold on. I, mean, I know you not out here in these streets. No, I wouldn't even know what turn to make to get on the streets. It's like, no. That's where, right. is, no. where is these streets at that you speak of? No, man. Never me. I admit that I'm like. Nigga, I fly I don't even be on these streets. I'm in the earth. I'm in the earth. Hey, so so as always, hashtag keep Brit safe. Please. Uh, stay, out, stay out of these women's inboxes. my stock will be. Lames. And, uh, look, we're going to stick with the theme to close it out of an all-local playlist. Shout out to Smooth Lyric to start us out. The homie James Lindsay, a uh, player. And matter of fact, hey, I picked this out without she, even realizing got. it. Your cuz. Cuz. Shout out to close us out. Uh, Smoke. Hey. Angel. Ooh. All right, y'all. Appreciate you coming, and uh, thanks for joining us for another episode of Why Not. Bye bye. Peace. Protagious. Something comes over me from your head to your shoes. Girl, you look so good. You knock me right off my feet. You and I together. I feel so secure. I don't wear it back. You're my ace in the hole, baby by my side I hope that you will remain This is a message from heaven Cause you're an angel You've got to be
heaven sent. No more sevens or elevens, cause you're my angel. Girl, you're my lucky charm. What you do for me, no one else could do. Cause baby, you do it right. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. You satisfy every night. Girl, I've never had a love that would make me do anything. Anything that you want from me. You're my one and only love, baby, by my side. I hope you'll forever stay. This is a message from heaven. Yeah.